Okay, um, good afternoon to you. Yes, um, first of all, um, my name is, as you can see from the board, my name is Dr. Obi Beku Damoa, and uh, I'm the instructor for advanced uh, strategic management, and we're going to discuss lecture one today. First, we're looking at what are the learning outcomes as far as the lecture is concerned. So for this lecture, we have four main important outputs. And output one is we're trying to identify the purpose of strategic plan. And before I forget, title of the lecture or the course is Advanced Strategic Management. That is a theoretical concept. In practice, we don't say strategic management. In practice, we don't say advanced strategic, we say strategic planning. So that is how come you see the link between the objectives and the title. So textbooks are saying strategic management, advanced strategy. But in practice, companies do strategic plan. So in terms of the objective, we're going to look at something like purpose of strategic plan, the need for strategic plan, and then are there challenges, even though it looks or appears that it's wonderful. And then what are the skills one needs to design a strategic plan? Uh, for lecture one, as we go along, just to introduce to you that these are the materials you'll be using. So of course, you're going to have the lecture slides, which is going to be sent to everybody. And you don't need to pay for it. It's free. Um, you will see that on the course line, I have also outlined a number of books and other th stuff. So beside the slides, you will have test books. And then going along, we will also be referring to certain key journals, articles. And then, of course, I'm the facilitator. I'm also part of the material. <laughs> yeah? you, sometimes you read a book, you won't understand. You will do all the assignment unless you see the lecture face to face like this. So in terms of the material helping you to understand the course, the lecturer is part of the material. <laughs> All right? So the quality of the lecturer is very, very, very important because the lecturer is part of the material. And then there are certain web pages that we will also refer you to. OK. How do we go about this lecture? We're going to do presentation as I'm doing right away. Number two, we're going to do a lot of activities in class, activities, you know. And these things are just to reinforce your understanding. So, for example, if there's something you never understood from the presentation, then when we get to the activity, you know, it will really reawaken you. Uh, we will also do case studies, sometimes outside the class. And then su supplementing the case studies, I'm going to bring a lot of cases from local news papers. And part of the reasons why I do that is that because most or some of the cases are not Ghana context specific. So because of that, I try to supplement them with specific case studies from our local newspapers. And I can assure you, you will enjoy those ones. And from my experience, that is also where you will get the practicals as far as the lecture, the lecture is concerned. You get a lot of practicals when we do the newspaper analysis. And then uh, it's likely we'll invite somebody along the line to come and share their experience with us, people who are doing the practical stuff in town. And then we're likely to do term paper. Term paper is also one of the things to really enhancing our understanding in the course and and again we're trying to go very high tech <laughs> and if that happens we'll try and um, have an online discussion so the assumption is that if we add all these things so you listen to the lecture you participate in the presentation you participate in the class activities participate in the case study so the assumption here is that the number one to the seven. They are all to add up so that you will really, really understand. 
and they carefully selected. So maybe somebody's learning style will not be very much when we come to presentation. Maybe somebody's learning style is not the activity but the presentation. So we've done it in such a way that in the end, everybody's learning style will work future. And then at the end of the day, everybody will be very happy. Okay, so that is the intro regarding how we are going about the whole thing. So um, because this is a postgraduate program and it's likely that some of you are already working. So first of all, um, number one, let me ask that before maybe perhaps you came here, are you aware of or have you heard about strategic plan before? So maybe let me start with you. Whether you've heard about strategic plan before. Okay, very good. And where did you hear it? Is it in your company? Is it in a textbook? Is it in the radio? Or you read a newspaper? Yeah, I've, I've heard of it over the news about companies drawing up strategic planning and then as in it's leading them where they want to be from now uh -huh, over a course of year. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But then you haven't had a practical look. You heard about them. Yeah. Okay, but you haven't had a practical look. No. And you haven't involved in designing one before. No, not Okay, yet. wonderful, wonderful. Sir? Um, not necessarily. Um, all that I've heard about is just that it helps management in their long-term planning for the organization in terms of where they want to put their resources are, among others. So that is all that I've heard about it. But I've not done any practical okay. planning um, process okay. with it. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Basically, I had a very brief experience mm. with it. Mm. Um, it was supposed to be an engineering department, okay. just a department, and not at the corporate level, strategic plan. So we started it, then I left for school. Okay. Okay. All right. So fine. I mean, we're happy that at least, even if you haven't had a practical feel, at least you've heard about it. And then everybody knows that it is something that is needful as far as practice is what a concern. Now, even though you've not heard about it, and therefore um, you might not know the practical details. However, I must also ask whether any of you has a specific expectation as far as going forward or presenting the model is concerned. Maybe when you heard, you, you heard about it, did you say that, oh, perhaps if I have the opportunity, I will try and make sure that at least this aspect of it, I really, really understand. Is there anybody who has a specific aspect of the strategic plan they want me to really, really clarify, perhaps overemphasize as I go along, or perhaps your interest is generic? Yeah, um, it's, it's a very interesting uh, topic. And then I would love to know, and then I especially get to know what goes into planning, mm -hmm. as in doing the strategic planning for a, a company or something. Because it's, it's not being done for, for some few days. It's more of or less a long-term something. So you must be really strategic in okay, getting to know. Yeah, yeah, going to, yeah. Okay. okay, let's listen to our colleague. Yes. Um, I would want to know about the components okay. of the of the strategic plan and then the rationale behind each component. Why do we include each component of the of the plan in totality and their interlinkages? Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Our colleague too, maybe any desire? Uh, since basically I was involved in, in mm -hmm. an ancillary department. Okay. I want to know how the corporate plan can be broken down to the functional level okay. so that I can play a good role in All it. Right. Okay, thank you. So, wonderful, wonderful expectation. And I must also assure you that because this is really a practical class, this is not MPhil, this is not MSc, it's not PAD. It, the course is designed in such a way that you're likely to really identify all those expectations that you have outlined. Now, beyond those things that each of you has said, let me also introduce you to certain key expectations from my perspective, things that I believe that automatic, everybody will acquire as far as the model is concerned. Number one is saying that perhaps if this is the first time you have been introduced to how to do strategic plan itself, 
you're going to be introduced to new concepts. Maybe if you're coming from engineering background, maybe finance background, marketing background, you're going to be introduced to new, new, new concept, which is specific to strategic war plan. Number two, now, just like our colleague was saying that he heard about strategic plan and that it is something that companies are doing. I must say that even if you're not yet experiencing how strategic plan is drawn, today, as far as uh, organization management is concerned, strategic plan has become a basic requirement. If I say basic, basic means that, I mean, it is something that every organization ought to have. It's just like they're saying basic education. So if, if you happen to meet somebody and the person is saying that, oh, I don't even have junior high certificate, perhaps you'll be surprised. Why? The expectation is that at least everybody ought to have a basic certificate or a junior high war certificate. So we say basic. It's a basic requirement. So we're saying that today, strategic plan, even though it's very important, but it has become a basic requirement for every organization. And again, if I say organization, mind you, I'm not saying commercial organization, I'm not saying company that are meant for only war profit, I'm saying organization. Implicitly, I'm talking about what? Public sector institution, government ministry agencies, um, department, uh, you're talking about the third sector, in this case, NGOs, uh, development organization, including commercial organizations. Strategic plan has become very important and a basic tool for them. So going forward, one of the skills that we will develop or acquire is that everybody will have the capacity to design, design a strategic plan. For example, if you happen to finish and you are one day you're working and they say, can you put some things together so that we can begin to design a strategic plan for this company. It, w it wouldn't be difficult for you to say, for us to go forward in doing the plan, we need S, we need Y, we need what? Z. So how to design. And going forward, like I said at the beginning, that we're going to do a lot of case studies from the Ghanaian business environment, and I'm bringing those things from the newspapers. You will see a lot of publications that are advertising for people who can design strategic plan for companies. And it's very wonderful. It's very, very, very wonderful. It's very wonderful. I remember, um, you know, our, I think we had a meeting. You know, the business school, we had a new dean who took office, I think, um, 1st of August. And he wants to, you know, the University of Ghana as a whole has a plan, 10 years, which is starting from 2014 to 2024. And uh, schools and colleges must also design their plan in the light of the broader universe. So the dean is also trying to think about trying to develop or design a plan to feed into the university. So he had a meeting with those of us, at least, who have knowledge in it. And he was sharing with us that um, when somebody was invited outside, all right, to come and see whether the person could help us to get one, we were told that the quotation was from 30,000 American US war dollars. Yes, ordinarily, just simple five year strategic plan. And if we try to look at 30,000 American dollars, yeah, in the light of Ghanaian city, we're aiming at, I think, 90,000. Now, that's, that shows how this thing is very important. So, it's a senior management tool. Strategic plan is a senior management war tool. In other words, strategic plan has become a senior management game plan. If you want to compete and compete well, it is a requirement. Otherwise, the person wouldn't have said, oh, going forward and design one for you, I will call it not less than how much? 30,000 American dollars. So if you have the skill to know how to design, I tell you that it makes you a hot cake. makes you a hot cake. Number three, now, apart from the fact that you are given the opportunity to say, can you help her to design? Or let's say, if we are putting a team of people together, can you be part of the team in helping the company to design? Another skill is that 
if let's say somebody design a strategic plan for your company before it is handed to the company eventually they say we need expert to do quality assurance so if let's say that your company outsources a strategic plan to say price waterhouse if it takes price waterhouse say three months to finish the plan before eventually they come and they say that we are done so we're handing it to the company there is a final thing they do we call quality assurance so normally they will invite experts so another thing that you can also be called upon to do is that after the plan has been designed you could be given to say okay please we're giving you say three days or at most one week can you just review the plan and give us your views so somebody maybe you finish your master's degree you're part of senior management and then you are given such a task the question is that where do you begin from and if you have a look at strategic plan what and what can you say that i'm going to use this one as my key indicators to do the word the review it's very important so another scale is that you are able to review what strategic plans with your professional lens and what is the lens the lens refers to the practical skills that as we go along we're using case study we're using the presentation we're using the book to present to you that is really equipping you with the word the skills so whenever you have a practical strategic plan in, on hand then you can use those lenses as your key indicators of what review review it's very important and you know normally when i'm doing my lecture things i underline they mean so 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 important in fact i take time to do that anytime you see that i've underlined stuff in my lecture it means you have to revisit it look at it it's so what important so see you see the first one the second one is i have underlined the draft and the word the design the guy who was to come and charge us thirty thousand dollar was to do the drafting and the word the design so that is where the money is normally when the person finishes and they say somebody should review that one and well even though normally they will give you money but not so much because you can use five days or maybe three or less to review but it it will take you not less than two months to do a detailed proper word strategic plan even in that case not one person we're talking about a team of what expert because you need to do interview you need to design questionnaire you need to read you need to meet expert you need to do a lot of things okay number four is that your capacity to make input so for example currently what our dean is doing there are a couple of us that are members of the committee so what are we doing we're making input we're making input so then if it is happening in your company you can be called upon to be part of the team or sometimes even if the company is outsourcing there are certain company the culture is that they wouldn't allow the consultant to come and do everything and hand it to them they will try and assemble some people and say work hand in hand with the consultant so that is it and then you can also develop careers why because if the consultant came and said that I can do it or I, my company can do, and this is my price, what it means is that people in that company have special skills in designing strategic plans. So it's a career. Not all companies can do. Not all consulting companies can do. Not all chambers can do. So it's a specific career, and you can develop careers in it. And again, um, most of the consultancy companies in town they do that one price waterhouse kpmg so again if you live here you can also find yourself in those organizations and tell them that i have really really gone in detail when it comes to it. so if you have a section that talks about this please i want to do all work over there um number seven number seven another thing too that you are likely to acquire or you will acquire is that the model will also equip you to excel at senior management interviews now when i say senior management i'm talking about position from manager and above 
manager, unit head, head of department. Anytime you're given a unit, even these days, even if it is within the company they're promoting you, they're likely to ask you to give them a plan. Maybe management information system plan, maybe human resource plan, or sometimes they will say human resource strategy, uh, marketing strategy, production strategy, financial strategy. Every senior management position that you're going to be the oversight person. Sometimes the interview panel will want you to come and tell them the strategy you're going to use to do what? Transform the place. And if you go through the program, it gives you a lot of what? Advantage when it comes to senior management interviews. And again, you'll be a better senior manager. And we're saying that uh, these days, too, it is common to hear that companies are hosting strategic retreat. I don't know whether anybody has also heard about strategic retreat. Normally, when the year is folding up, companies sometimes retreat. Retreating means that they're going somewhere and then perhaps look back and reorganize, reorient themselves, reconfigure, and come again. And they call it strategic retreat. And if you have good skills in strategy, sometimes you'll be of a greater service to companies that normally host strategic. So these are some of the uh, predicted expectations that you have. Now, let's come to the body of the lecture. So we're saying we're doing advanced strategic management. And I'm saying that advanced strategic management, in practical terms, we're talking about what? Strategic plan. Don't forget about that. So first of all, for academic purpose, of course, where you are working, nobody will ask you to define what is strategic plan, I don't think. Okay? But because this is an academic work, you must have a conceptualization of what we mean by a strategic plan so that you can report it. And you can also do what? Communicate it. Three things. You understand? Mm? You can report it. You can communicate. And then you can be part. So let's um, conceive what we mean by strategy or a strategic plan. Again, like I told you, anytime I'm trying to let you know that certain words, phrase, they're so important. What do I do? I underline them. So if you look at this paragraph on the board, you see I have underlined future plans, I've underlined war, asset, I've underlined environment, and I've underlined war, stakeholders. So if I put this together, what I'm trying to say is that strategic plan of an organization consists of four main things. And when it happens like that, it makes the understanding the recollection to very easy. So for example, if you live here, at least even if you forget anything at all, you wouldn't forget that the lecturer said that four main things come together to form a strategic plan of what? A company. And what are these? Number one is what? Future plans. Number two is what? Asset. Number three is what? Environment. And number four is what? Stakeholder expectation. Now, let me get put it together and give you an operational definition. So, from this, when we say strategic plan of, say, University of Ghana, what we're trying to say is that the strategic plan of University of Ghana consists of University of Ghana's future world plans. And when we come at our next lecture, I'm going to give you a case study that concerns University of Ghana's 10-year strategic plan that has been launched launch. I'm going to bring that one to you. And that strategic plan starts from 2014 to what? 2024. So it qualifies it to become futuristic. Is that not the case? Because we are not yet in 2016, 2017, and 24. But the university has planned between now and going forward to what? 2024. So we're saying that a strategic plan of every organization whether it is a development organization, whether it's an NGO, we're saying, one, it is what? Future plans. Yes? If it's not future plan, it's not strategic plan. Then two, we're saying that this future plan, yes, takes into consideration what it will take the company to realize the plan. I repeat, that future plan, yes, takes into consideration what it will take the company to realize the aims and objectives in the plan. So um, if you go to the preparatory school here, 
in the intercession there's a notice display board you see university of ghana our strategic intent going forward from 2014 to 24 it is outlined then the question is that will the vice chancellor be able to achieve this the answer is yes then the question would what so he, knew, he he knows that he need, he needs certain kind of internal capacity and that internal capacity is what we say internal world resources so he's pr projected into 10 years from last year but in doing that one he is well aware of the internal world resource so we say every future plans also takes into consideration the word the internal resource capacity then number three we're saying that when i have future plans university of ghana 2014 to 2024 I have taken into consideration the capacity I have to deliver that value, then I'm saying that that must also be aligned with the changing trends from the environment. And what are, what are the changing trends? Maybe issues coming from the regulator. Who is the regulator? Maybe the Ministry of Education or perhaps National Accreditation Board or because this is a public university, maybe Ministry of what? Finance. You understand or not only that but maybe perhaps the specific program we run here maybe other sister universities are also trying to do and then they are trying to even undo us okay so we're saying that when you have the future plans and you are well aware of your internal capacity it's not enough so if the plan is not also aligned with changing trends from the environment it's not complete so it wouldn't be surprising that if you go in details to know what and what is written in University of Ghana 10 years plan, you will identify perhaps how many private universities are in Ghana. Why? Because these are our what? Competitors. Then last one we're saying expectations of stakeholders. What does that mean? If I have 10 year plan and I know my capacity, and I've aligned the plan in the light of whatever is happening from the environment. And I'm saying that anybody that expects something from the University of Ghana, it should be likely that that person's interest is what uh, taken care of. That is very, very, very important. I have a 10-year plan. Wonderful. I know I will need classroom facilities, I need professors, and I need lecturers, and what have you, to deliver this kind of water, 10 year fellow mission, and what have you. And I'm saying that. But in doing that, if I don't know what my competitors are doing, sometimes some can slide me back. But having known this one, it's not enough. I must also make sure that even if the competitor doesn't do anything against me, somebody who expects something from me can draw me back. Okay. All right, so we're saying that you need to know the expectations of what stakeholders. So, for example, if you heard that uh, when people were just talking about the university's tow boat, tow, tow, tow boat, not too long ago, um, you might have heard that at one time the parent of the basic school, you know, they were trying to attack the university. Why? Because they are stakeholders. The part of the university's world stakeholder so implicitly what you're trying to say is that if you think your plans are wonderful if you think your internal assets are what wonderful if you think that every competitor with you you've settled them and then you've left the stakeholders unattended to the job is not yet done all right so imagine if this were to be a manufacturing company somewhere that some investor outside the country has invested so much in this company and because of this maybe three weeks or maybe some days all right we are not producing what is going to happen a whole lot of cost sometimes we hear that they say uh, workers are on rampage industrial unrest and what have you all those things are coming from expectations of what so people do that because they think that the plan that is being implemented doesn't take care of their interests okay so so we're saying we're using these four main tools all right to understand what goes into a strategic plan so number one we're saying 
it ought to be futuristic. University of Ghana has chosen to use 10 years. Not too long ago on the radio, I heard that, I think Tor, yeah, Tor, I heard on a radio program, I think some of their officials were saying that they also have a 10 year strategic word plan. Very futuristic. I want to say that it has to take into consideration assets, environment issue, and everyone who has some expectation. Now, let me pause and see if anybody has any questions to ask um, so far what I've just uh, talked about. Yeah, um, from the definition you've given, I'd wanted to know if the process of reviewing is distinct from what goes into uh, coming up with an strate a strategic plan. Okay, that is a good question. You know what? Now, we're going to have, I think, 13 sections. Now, it will surprise you to know that these four simple things I have just explained, we're going to break them down into the rest of the 12 word section. So, for example, if we take how do you develop future plans? Yeah? That one has a number of processes and procedures. So, when we say review, then you're saying that let me go back into the processes that inform this future war plans so you will see that within the future plan there is the review aspect what over there now if we come to the internal asset before you can say that in trying to deliver the 10 year plan xyz are my asset there are also certain processes and war procedures so before you can also quality assure that yes, there is a fit between the capacity the university currently has and what it wants to do. You will also check those processes and procedure. So you will see that the review aspect is also within in there. Then we're saying that has the university taken into consideration all the competitors, including foreign universities that are running outreach programs here in Ghana and Accra. So again, if I know that perhaps there are 63 universities. I will read and perhaps and see whether the plan has taken care of them. I will also read and, and then ask myself that perhaps this program that University of Ghana is running and this sister university is also running. What is the university doing so that they will see lead in that program? What am I doing? I am also reviewing when it comes to the word, the environment. Or maybe last year there was a regulatory provision um, coming from the ministry, you know, and maybe people were surprised. I want to review the environment. I will say, has the university indicated something in the plan that purport to say that this is how they intend to do what? Manage provisions coming from the regulator. So what am I doing? There is also a review aspect when it comes to the environment. And then I will say, okay, this is a university. In the plan, they have said that they have 15 stakeholders. But is that the case? What am I doing? I am also reviewing. So you will see that all the staff we will consider has something to do with design, something to do with word review. Is that so? Now, so um, step two, uh, after we have understood something about strategy and I've given you a simple operational definition. Step two, we're talking about something we call strategic decisions. And strategic decisions are the same as strategic initiatives. Or sometimes they will say strategic actions. So strategic decisions, all right? Strategic initiatives and then strategic word action. So you see that strategic decisions, strategic actions, strategic initiative, they give rise to strategic plans. Strategic decisions, strategic initiatives, strategic actions give rise to what? Strategic plans. How? For example, I can confidently tell you that our attempt to beautify the university and make it secure, for which our boss, the vice chancellor, um, design the idea of the tow boat. 
is a strategic word decision all right so if maybe if not because the government is saying that mr vc you're doing so well but you for now hold on it wouldn't be surprising that if you go into the pages of our strategic plan you will see the tool boot issue right in printed word over there so what does that mean what it means is that before it came into force there was a decision to that effect and when we say something is strategic i'm going to introduce you to characteristics of what issues that are strategic things that concerns the entire organization we say this is really really what strategic issue so does the two boot concern everything within the university yes or no yes because eventually we were saying that we're only allowing people who are coming from the city center from East Legon. You understand? And to the point that if you're a faculty, you're working here, you don't have the right card to enter. You have to. And people who are selling, whether they are coming to give supplies to university, everybody. Okay, so we said this thing started in the form of what? A strategic decision. But perhaps today it is a component of our plan. So strategic decisions and actions and initiative, they give rise to what? Strategic plans. Now, very important. The next thing is, so like I said, okay, so um, I, I've just talked about it, but let's, let's quickly look at what are the characteristics of strategic action, strategic decisions, and strategic initiative. And for, for you at your level, these are very, very, very important very 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 important it helps you to disassociate between administrative issues operational issues from what strategic ones very important so look at first one is saying strategic actions decisions are likely to be affected by the entire scope again here to you look at it i have also underlined what entire scope so that is why i began by saying that if i ask you that did you think that the tool would affect everything about the university the answer is yes because in ghana i mean those that live in act almost everybody was what talking about it why because it affects everyone entire scope number two they are of long-term nature so if our boss all right but to be allowed to continue i don't think that he had in mind that he was doing the tool and after one year no it's what or it was going to be what a long term so long term things that are long term number three says that it goes with what huge 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 financial and you see to let you know what has happened on the ground i don't know whether you were monitoring the news at the point in time our, vo our boss came out and said that the university even went in for what alone in designing the word the turbo so it implies that indeed things that concern or things that are strategic in nature it involves war huge financial outlay you know and then we said number, number d is important it requires top management or sometimes board word decisions so for strategic and that is how come eventually when they were we were even saying that fine we're not going to continue with this kind of thing and then we were supposed to hold press conference remember it was the university board the council that came to why the council because that is the authority that is the man, governing body of the world of the university so don't forget these are very important see look again we're saying that apart from the financial issue it also goes with other allocation of other risk physical assets and what have you and we're saying that it also affects the long-term prosperity of what a company so i have just talked about two main things first i've given you operational definition of what what is strategic plan by giving you four main indicators then step two i said from strategic plan we come to strategic decision strategic initiatives and strategic action and I've given you characteristics of what these things. Our step number three. So these are questions that 
you can discuss them again just to enhance your understanding um, now step three we saying are there usefulnesses that go with strategic plan right do companies that do strategic plan do they have certain advantage compared to those that do not what are the usefulnesses so why on earth would somebody say let me part with 30,000 American word dollar yes if the person doesn't really know that they're gonna have some amount of what benefit so we're asking that are there any benefits and maybe because you said at the beginning that you have had some partial information and our colleague also said that he got a hint of it maybe let me ask whether somebody could also share with us what they think would be some of the word the benefits yeah I think uh, it will help you manage risk Okay, very good. If I were to add that in my presentation, I will underline what our colleague have said. What risk? Very, very, very important. Yes. Yes. Um, it, it helps in the day-to-day -day decision making to okay. ensure that whatever decision that you're you're going to take will be in line with your long-term goal. Okay. So our colleague is also talking about decision, and especially trying to categorize decision according to whether it is operational decision or what strategic decision. Yes could be a basis for investment very good these are all strong 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 benefit so you also talk about what basis what what of what investment and I will affirm that that what you've said are so important especially the investment tool he talked about as we speak now as we speak now our 10-year plan that has been launched our vice chancellor can travel everywhere in the world and hold our 10-year strategic plan and say, investors, development partners, come and associate with me. And if you want to understand what I do, please, I can hand you copies of what we want to do. And it is a simple word, platform. So a very strong investment. So investment implying that if you're looking for people to come and invest with you, they will understand you better, especially if they're technical, if they're very discerning investors. I remember we had a meeting with some companies in town and this organization they help Ghanaian organization to grow so they said to us that they travel outside and then they went with some group of Ghanaian businessmen then he said that along the line this investor became very interested in some of the things that our Ghanaian people do but he said eventually they asked them whether whatever they want to do is documented in a plan and the gentleman said to us that none of the investors was able to show that here is my plan going forward between now even and the next three years. Can you imagine? So if I'm really, really, really discerning investor, I want to sit abroad and give you my money. And even simple packet documentation you don't have. So number one is giving me a sense of certain kind of word, communication. In his time. So it's very important these days. So, I mean, in addition to what you've said, so you said it's uh, used for risk management and then decision making and the investment. Not only investment, but also for funding. If you're looking for funding, if you're looking for funding. And again, it is also used to manage performance. If you have a very big organization, perhaps scattered across all the 10 regions of Ghana, or even sometimes beyond Ghana, how will you track performance? Unless you have a tool that synthesizes all the things that is what happening. So it, it's no wonder every organization is going for, for this. Like I said at the beginning, today is a basic requirement. What it means is that it can help an organization to outperform all their competitors. But on a more technical, let's even say that just basic word, requirement. Performance management. Number, another one is that it is also used as a very strong control tool. Control tool. And it is also used as a sense of identity. Identity with the outside world. Right now, if I launch a strategic plan, I say British Council. 
and I try to give the content, a mission, what have you. What I'm trying to say is that here is me, this organization, and this and this are what disassociate or differentiate me from other. So society can then identify with me. Identify with me. So it's very important. And that's why I said that it's a senior management game plan. Senior management what? Game plan. So step one, I will come to you, sir. Step one, operational definition of strategic plan consists of how many? Four things. Step two, strategic decision and its war characteristics. And step three, the benefit of. So, okay, yes, sir. Um, from what you just said, I wanted to know if it is from the strategic plan that companies draw up their mission statement and then their mm -hmm. vision. Our colleague is saying it is this from the plan that companies draw mission and what? Vision. Now, the vision and the mission, they are part of the content of a strategic word plan. The mission and the vision, they are part of the content. But if you want to look at the hierarchy of the things that go into strategic plan, more often than not, the vision and the mission are the ones on top and every other things originate from the vision and the mission every other thing originate from that is why it is easy for you to go to companies in town and perhaps um, maybe see it in the hall or the banking hall they, they, they just written mission or sometimes they just written well, a vision why are they saying that just like I said that the whole plan the hierarchy is the word, is the vision and the mission. So for the company to say, we want to just make it brief, to tell you everything that we do, they only try to what? Pick the mission alone and they indicate. What are they saying? What they're trying to say that everything that is happening here in this company, right from the top to the shop floor, it is because of this one line or one phrase word, mission statement. What everybody is doing, the driver, the security, the reception, Everything is coming from the mission statement. Thank you so much. Okay, so the benefit that we have discussed, these are some template ones that later on you can... And again, there's a question here. I'd like you to also uh, look at it at your spare time. They're wonderful. Now, step number four, we're saying, beside the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things we have talked about, are there challenges to strategic plan? The answer is yes. All right? Because in every operating arena, there can never be risk-free activity. Every operating arena, even if it is an NGO, looking for, for NGO is not business, so why not? But even in looking for funding, maybe NGO A is also going to look for what? Funding. And so they are also competing. They also compete. So there's always what risk. Now, first one, let's look at this. This is saying that why it's important to plan within today because of the globalization influences. Changes within or from the environment are too rapid. And when it happens like that, you need to revisit your plan, revisit it. So it makes it very well. Maybe you have to revise, you have to revise, you have to revise. So it makes it very challenging. And we're saying that it involves time. And like I told you, the company that wants to do the business school, simple five-year strategic plan, proposed how much? 30,000 American war dollars. 30,000. So, you know, I, I mean, I went, I went to a class and somebody said to me that he runs Susu and Savings Company. And he's saying that he wanted to graduate from the Susu to microfinance. But Bank of Ghana made a clause that said that before you can do that, in, 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 in trying to submit the documentation, you need to accompany it with what? Five-year strategic plan. And the gentleman said that he didn't know the head and the tail of what? Strategic plan. And as at that time, he couldn't also afford to do what? Pay. Because if a, a company is charging you 30000 which is about... 90,000 Ghana. And how can you have an office complex, get some staff, and pay them? 
and have some authorized or authorized capital. It might not be possible. All right. So, cost, and then we're saying that the the system is very so the variable that you need to say I have come out with a plan. They're very complex, and you need to analyze each of them. Okay. So there's a question here again. I'd like you to look at it at your spare time. Um, uh, and then, so first, let me still go back to recap so that you can follow. We'll talk about definition, which is step one. Step two, we talk about strategic word decision and their characteristics. Step three, we talk about what benefits for some challenges. And then five, we're saying how do organizations plan? So here we're talking about the planning behavior. You know, organizations also behave like human beings. That is why some course they say they're, lo they're doing what? Organizational behavior. I think you've heard about organization. Exactly. So companies also behave. But from practical point of view, yeah, theories and researchers have seen that eh, companies behave differently when it comes to war. Strategic plan. And we've tried to categorize them across this. So we see from the research point of view, some group of company, their planning behavior is called the rational type of war plans. Another group, we call it what? The incremental kind of war plan. And then another people, we call them the free will or the opportunistic. Now, what does the rational one mean? What it means is that for these companies, eh, the, the planning is, is, is very rational, it's very objective, it's very systematic. And implicitly, they do the plan, finish it before they begin to execute it. So, for example, it is likely that the University of Ghana, our example, will be classified as what? The number one. Why? We have already finished the plan. It is handed to our boss, the vice chancellor. Everything is done. We're not going to interact with the consultant anymore to do anything. It is done, finished, handed to us. Anytime it is like that, we say the behavior of those companies, it is what? Rational, objective, systematic. Finish it. Now, another company will also say, between now and 10 years, look so wide. And it is likely a lot of things are going to change. So for me to say, take one month or four months or six, six months to finish something for me, I don't want it that way. So I'd like you to do the foundation, so Price Waterhouse. You do the initial one, how many competitors in the education, how many facilities do I have, programs, and just leave it open. And then you work with me as I go along. So maybe when we get to the fourth year out of the 10 or the fifth year, then we can conclude because by then I can see the beginning to the end. Now, anytime companies do that one, we say their behavior is what? Very incremental. They want the plan to emerge. So recently, I heard in the Dwey FM business stream that there's a South African bank that want to come and operate in Ghana. Now, it is probable or it will be about 98% probability that this company will need a strategic plan. Because there are a lot of banks in Ghana and they are strong banks. So a very good strong tool to begin with will be looking for what? A strategic plan. Now, the company will be torn between two opinions. Either to contract a local company here to do a strategic plan for them. As we're speaking, we're told that they're they going to come in April. You know you're here. So they could contract a company to do a strategic plan for them and then post it to them. If they do that, that is classified as what? Rational. Another school of thought would be that, now, fine, we need this, but we don't know the Ghanaian business environment very well. And it is possible that the interpretation of the consultant will be different from our own interpretation. So it will be fine. Let's allow the consultant to begin, give us initial indicators, and when we go in there, he works with us as we go along then after some time we can conclude this will be two things they will have to think about and there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages that go with each of them 
so if that is what they're going to do we say that is also classified as what inclementa or we say emergent then we say in between the two we have certain companies sometimes they will say for us don't let us do anything let us go and let us go and just react to events when companies also take that approach we say their behavior is the free will approach now the free will is extreme case where the temptation comes is between rational and incremental what we have done is the rational one will it have been better for us to say consultant don't go we are not yet done with you we haven't even paid you we're going to work with you as we go along after some time or oh, it's better so the company coming from south africa if you were a member of the board which one will you suggest for them i don't need an answer now though but these are the things you need to reflect on okay so planning behavior now in the test there are other be other behaviors this is just to pinpoint to you that there is a section within strategic plan that is about what the planning behavior of what fair so this is our session what F subsession five yeah as far as the lecture one is concerned and there's a case study here it takes care of the planning behavior wonderful one look at it the requirements you evaluate the company's current approach to all strategic planning and suggest more appropriate word alternatives and look i'd like you to read and then you will see that the body of the case is about these three behaviors we have all discussed okay and i think the last thing we will consider is if i want to know how to design a plan if i want to know how to draft it what and what skills do i need to do or acquire number one is conceptual skills now in the light of strategy what and what are conceptual see our colleague was talking about vision and mission that is what we call concept so before i can draw design i need to know the concept at my fingertips that yes vision is part of strategic plan mission is part of it policies is part of it activities are part of it i need to know those things at my fingertips so when i know that one all right it means that if i flip through the pages of a typical company strategy i understand all right just like when somebody say resume you know what the person talking about that's not the case so it's the same thing and we say that is what conceptual skills so you are finance people corporate finance you understand maybe there's something we call um, capital budgeting so you say internal rate of return accounting rate of return uh, PMPV what are you talking about these are things that must be at your fingertips if you want to determine the whether you have to buy something you have to invest or not so in the same way those concepts are in finance it ought to be at your fingertips so we call them conceptual skills in finance and these are conceptual the other one is about analytical skill remember the question i posed to you must the company come from south africa and come and start implementing what perhaps a consultant has done for them or they should say wait and why must they make this decision they need to be informed and we say those things involve war analytical thinking you need to analyze a lot of war data to see the signals of the data we will come to all those things as we go along diagnostic scale maybe here is a problem there's a gap here and all that and then problem solving skills so again because i said a senior management game plan management must foresee what is actually going to happen you know in the personal so when you are doing a plan sometimes they put people together as a team you need to interact with the one another and then very important report right in the end you have to give the document to the client and it has to take certain professional form you will never just just type stuff and just send it so form it has to do with specific formatting you need to do certain appendices specific formatting and all kinds of stuff so reporting skills and then research like i said 
sometimes you need to design questionnaire. So maybe I want to go to a company to ask them, what do they mean by strategic plan? When I go there, I want to ask them verbally like that. Fine. Maybe if I want to interview, I will. But if I want to do something quantitative, I will write something down on perhaps a questionnaire and give it to them and say, maybe take it. I'm going to come back to pick it. Now, what that means is that before I go there, I myself have defined what strategic plan means. And how do I go do that? Maybe I use certain symbolic things in the company. So what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to conceptualize what a plan. And what am I doing? That is research skills. Maybe we have all heard about leadership. But at where you work in your company, what can I use to mean leadership to you? When I'm doing research, when I'm designing a questionnaire, I need to design that. So that when you also research, oh yes, I'm talking about what? Leadership. And the question is that, that definition I give you, to what extent is it very comprehensive, robust, and very exhaustive? So that is about what? Research, what? Skills. And then, computer, because we're typing. We're doing a lot of stuff. All right? So, um, and there are a lot of things. Okay. So, so basically, lecture one, this is what I like us to, uh, this is just an overview. And just like I said, the most important thing is that the four things I said, that the key ingredient of the, from the word, the definition, that the things are going to build on as we go up. So maybe eventually let me ask whether somebody has any question before maybe we bring the lecture to a close. Um, sir, from your delivery, I got the impression that um, when you are operating an organization, all the decisions by managers and sub-managers have to fall, fall within the plan. Now, what about innovation? I'm a, I'm a sub-manager and I realize that I can innovate to bring about new ways of doing things. Do I still say that because of the plan, I have to keep it? Okay, myself? wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful questions. All right. So he's trying to say that okay, when we are when we are done with the plan, must everybody just stick to the plan and regardless of what happened, the answer is no. That is why we said in doing the planning, companies normally use three types of behavior. So that is perhaps suggesting to you that maybe the rationale in certain sense, or maybe today we're talking about innovation, new ideas, invention, modifications, development, and what have you. So you could say, or maybe it implies that managing companies today, right? Perhaps the emergent approach behavior or the incremental behavior has a lot of what benefit. Now, you mentioned innovation. If it is something small operational it wouldn't have any other significant revision when it come to what but maybe it's very huge and it's going to turn the company world around must we say because we never took it into consideration in that one we mustn't go the answer is no so it is pre-suggesting to you that of the approaches which one do you think will be the best i'd like to thank you so much for showing up and um, the slides are available for you the tests are provided. Um, just interact yourself with them, and then uh, before we meet, if anybody has uh, anything that still bothers their mind, just send me emails, and then either I send you email to clarify, or perhaps when we meet next time, first thing that we'll clarify before we go along. So thank you so much for coming, and then see you next section. Thank you.